I'm not gonna lie, the first time I heard Carlos Santana, I was not impressed. I, I didn't really get it. Now, at the time it was the mid 90s and I was really into guitar virtuosos. Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, and a plethora of other 80s guitar heroes. Yeah, those guys were highly technical. They played with surgical precision. They were very skilled on the instrument, fast players. And so when I heard Santana, it was nothing like that. So that explains why I really didn't get Carlos Santana. So I continued my journey on the instrument. Years passed, I played in many bands, learned many things about the guitar, got better at technique, theory, scales, and the type of music I listened to was still pretty technical, very orchestrated, lots of layers, you know, prog rock music. But even though I was operating in that genre of music, which was quite different from what Santana did, I still thought that there was something in Carlos's music that I did not get, and it kind of bothered me. Now, all of that changed a few years ago because of this. Before you put your fingers on the fret, visualize these strings from your eyes to your heart, and then you play. See, it was an ad for a course that Carlos Santana did for the Masterclass website. And at first I thought, what is he talking about? And don't get me wrong, I, I, I liked the ad. It was kind of entertaining, Ooh. but Carlos Santana was dead serious. That was really intriguing to me. What if there was something to what Carlos was saying? I mean, Carlos's relationship to music was clearly more than scales or licks or chords. It, it was on a different level. And so I started re-watching some of the footage of Carlos Santana playing, and it kind of hit me. The way Carlos Santana was behaving on stage with his instrument was really different. He was totally into it, and he still is today. And I realized that Carlos wasn't just playing guitar. Carlos was speaking music. I mean, everything that Carlos was playing was full of intent. And truth be told, it makes a massive difference. See, a note by itself has the potential to become so many other things, depending on the purpose you're putting behind that note. A note could be soft and gentle, a note could be loud, a note could be screaming. And that's something I had completely forgotten in my years of playing guitar. And, and what's cool is that it really doesn't matter if the lick you're playing has been played thousands of times before, you can make it new and fresh. So what Carlos Santana is playing is not that revolutionary as far as the choice of notes or the licks. It's all the vocabulary that we hear in all those classic rock guys, very pentatonic based, little bit of Dorian flavor here and there, but nothing incredibly mind-blowing as far as the choice of notes. But the intent behind the notes is so captivating. And you can see it whenever he's picking up the guitar. Carlos is not just playing a gig or doing a job. Carlos is having a real experience anytime he picks up the guitar and you can hear it. Now the question is, how do you do that? Especially if you're like me, an introvert. I don't like to be the center of attention. I kind of like to blend in and just observe. Well, here's what worked for me. You're gonna start with a place with no distraction, a quiet space, and then you grab your guitar. And this one is important. Close your eyes. If you can, turn off the lights. No visual distractions in the silence. And I want you to just listen to the silence. So you don't want to be distracted by anything visual. The thing is, music comes from within. As guitar players, sometimes we feel that the music comes from this, but no, this is an instrument. The music comes from within. So we're closing our eyes and we're, we're starting to think about an emotion. You've got to feel something. It doesn't matter what it is, but start with that feeling. And once you have it, I want you to play something on the instrument, but when you play it, I don't want you to play it as you're playing notes. Play it as if the notes you're playing are a message full of that emotion you just felt. And don't think about the scale you're playing, the technique, or any of that. It's all emotion. If you don't know what to play, just play a couple notes. See, the idea is to infuse these notes with the emotion you're feeling inside. Okay, I realize that this sounds pretty wacky. It sounds like 
Well, it sounds like what Carlos would say. When you play music, you're bringing light into the darkness. But he's right. So when you put intent into something, regardless of what it is, whether it's art, music, writing, whenever you have intent, people are going to perceive that. And this, whether they like what you're doing or not, they're still going to perceive that you put some intent in it, which is going to make that thing special. Now, it turns out Carlos Santana opened the door to a lot of other guys, including this one. See, Eric Clapton took the concept even further and added this special thing that no other guitar thought about doing. And I'm going to tell you all about that in this video. Watch it because this is going to help you implement what we just talked about today. I'll meet you right there.